How are you? What's been happening? I'm fine. But things have not been easy with my project. Who has heard about the project? My supervisor has not approved my project topic yet. Wait. Are you serious about this? Yes. What about you? Hmm. Anyway, I'm already in my chapter 3 and in the next uh, 3 weeks I'll be giving my conclusive chapter to my supervisor. Wow. But why hasn't yours been approved yet? I don't know. I got the original topic that I did research myself. Clara, is your uh, supervisor male or female? Is it male? Wait. Don't tell me you just write topics and just send to him. Yes. What else am I supposed to do? Um, do you go to your supervisor dressed like this? Yes. How else am I supposed to dress? <laughs> Come on, girl. Why are you so lame? Um, your supervisor, is he um Mr. Adam Matthew? Yes. <laughs> that is the best supervisor you can ever have. <laughs> He's supposed to have approved your topic by now. So what are you waiting for? What's the problem actually? See, Mr. Adam Matthew is also my supervisor. And any time I go to his office, can't you see the way I'm dressed? He is always looking at only my body. And have you forgotten what he always says? Use what you have to get what you want. Come on, girl. I don't know what you're saying. I just need to work hard and do my project right so I'll turn up like my dad. <laughs> Wait, and who is your dad? By the way, you don't need to know. I just need to work hard and make myself proud. Okay, if you say so. I'm heading for a lecture now. Okay. Good day, sir. Good day. Clara, how are you? I'm fine, sir. So you have not approved my project topic. So you're one of the stubborn ones that have not approved uh, their project topics. Yes, I'm one of the ones you've not approved their project topic. Yes, now that's what I am saying. You are one of the stubborn ones. So I don't understand you. Okay, you understand when the time is right. Let me see it. I came up with seven strong topics. Mm -hmm. My dad also helped me with the research. Mm. I believe these are original topics. <laughs> the good thing is that they are unique and very, very interesting. And these are in relation to my field of studies. You see, these your topics. I know what I want. I want stories that are nice and appealing. But sir, you're not looking at the paper I gave you. It's not about what you present. It's about what I am seeing. <laughs> And you know my favorite quote. You use what you have <laughs> to get what you want. So I already did that. <laughs> so I believe if you come out straight, I understand what you really want. And I'll see what I can do about it. If it's to travel or make research, I'm doing it. <laughs> Clara, you don't need to do all that. All what I want and desire is in front of me. <laughs> and if you insist that you come out straight, you're a very good girl. You're not like all those loose girls that will just give their body freely. You're different. And I like you. And I want us to have a good time. You understand, right? And funny enough, I'll give you a simple project topic. Sir, I don't understand. Come off it! You're not a child now. Okay, sir. Is that the only thing I can do? Yes, I leave my office. Okay, sir, I accept. So what do I need to do? Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Why you are talking? Uh-uh. Clara. Clara. <laughs> so you see, first of all, you get a room. Then you call me or email me the address, right? And we just meet, we have fun. Trust me, this is something you give freely to your boyfriend, so you don't have to be scared. Even your colleagues, 
they do this. And I'm a man of my word. I will surely give you a easy project topic. Huh? 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 Clara! <laughs> mm. uh, uh. Okay, sir. Um, I'll be expecting um, your email. And don't forget your <laughs> topic. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, eh? Thank you, sir. Slowly, don't rush your walking step. <laughs> uh, ah. All these young, young girls, they will not kill somebody in this school. <laughs> All these students and their, their nonsense plea for, uh, sir, please. What, what, what? Are you... Who is this one now? Hello? Sir, it's Clara. Oh, oh. <laughs> Clara, Clara. So, uh, what's the situation of things now, huh? Say, I'm there now. You are there? Everything is ready. I'll send the address to your email. Ah, good girl. You know what? Just, just hold on. I'll, I'll join you soon, huh? <laughs> Clara. Mm. What should I, um... No, that should be all now. Yeah. Ah ah, <laughs> Clara, don't be running away from me now. Ah ah, how are you? I'm fine. Ah ah, ah ah, I see you are ready for me. <laughs> um, ah, let's go straight to business now. No time for waiting. So, ah ah, look at you. Are showing skin? This is what I've been telling you. Eh? This is what I've been telling you. So let me be as fresh enough. Ah, no problem, eh? Yeah. I am here. Ah, Clara. Are you ready for me? Ah, Clara. Ah, Clara, you go here yeah, what? Mm. Ah, I love this food. Ah, sir, what, 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 what are you doing here? <laughs> Mr. Adams, Mr. Adams. Sir. Clara here is my daughter. Ah, ah. Yes. I told her to maintain a low profile in the university. I don't want people to favor her because she's the vice chancellor's daughter. I made it that way because I want her to finish with what she deserves. Let me fart. Clara is brilliant. <laughs> she, she knows her. Anyway, Adam, first, as the vice chancellor of this prominent university, I would make sure that I terminate your job. Sir! Yes! Sir! Secondly, I would make sure I write a review of how you were dismissed and send it to all the universities across the country. You are finished me, sir! Bear this in mind. There's a camera over there and we have a recorded version of everything that has just happened here. Ah! Sir! I want you to know this. We will hand you over to the police. In fact... Ah! It's my first time, bro! Move! He's a mister! Afraid, come on! Take him! You're a disgrace to lecture us! My daughter, thank you for speaking up. Huh? For this thing you have just done, you have saved a lot of lives. 